Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily PMC stock analysis video on Tuesday, May 25th. Sweet 16, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thunk it? And it is game on. And as always, the apes are winning, the diamond hands are winning, and most importantly, the retail investor is winning. So if you find this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It's a newer channel, and I'd appreciate the support. Let's get into the video. So I want to thank everyone personally who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. It certainly means the absolute world to me. Thank you. Let's start with a quote. It's showtime, ladies and gentlemen. It is showtime. From Beetlejuice, the movie, Michael Keaton, fantastic movie, and that is all we need to say about today, right? So let's look at the broader market today. Overall, three major indices were down, albeit not too terrible. AMC, GME, and others certainly outperformed the broader market uh, substantially. Uh, as you can see by the S&P, kind of started off decently and just bled off throughout the day. And certainly, if you look at the NASDAQ over the last five days, uh, tech has certainly started to recover, which is always a good thing. Uh, AMC is tied in with some of those uh, in ETFs and other uh, mutual funds and what have you. So that's a good thing. And as you can see today, uh, the different uh, sectors certainly perform. We are in the communication sector. Had a fantastic day at 9.1%. Uh, positive. So great, great day overall in our sector. Uh, not too terribly bad on the broad market. So crypto is mixed overall, not terrible, making recovery slowly but surely, but it was an overall mixed day. So let's look at how AMC did today. Overall, couldn't ask for a better day absolutely a huge day closed at sixteen dollars and 41 cents up two dollars and 73 cents 19.96 percent uh continuing its upward trend after hours uh at the time of this recording up 51 cents most importantly as i see it we found consolidation in the middle part of the day after the big run up in the morning and then we obviously ran up the second half of the trading day. So overall, as we compare to the uh, to the S and P, we certainly outperformed by far. Fantastic day. So most active on the market at 205 million in volume, AMC. And as you can see, we are the most popular stock on Webull at 8.67 percent. So what I want to show you here is the uh, this is the hourly candles from back at the baby squeeze back in late january some of you may have seen this uh, before but i certainly want to reiterate we have a history obviously of running up pre and post market not necessarily during the intraday trading so do not sleep on this stock this stock at 4 a.m to 9 30 could launch and it could launch for uh, PM to eight. So keep a very close eye on what's going on. Again, this is the hourly and this is the 30 minute, a little more granular look. You can see pre and post market late January uh, was when most of the activity occurred, the big run up. So don't miss the window, don't sleep in, and don't go to bed too early. So let's look at how uh, the overall bigger picture here on AMC looks fantastic. RSI in the orange uh, arrow is a little bit overbought right now. Probably could cool off just a hair. MACD is certainly bullish. And overall, we had a fantastic run up and the upward trend line is still intact. So again, alligator's mouth is wide open as you can see. Overall, fantastic viewpoint. We it's been a long time and I've shown this a couple days in a row, but I think it's worth uh, continuing to mention. So back at two to four dollars, it's been a fair amount of time. The uh, five to seven dollar level uh, certainly spent about a month or so. Spent an absolute eternity in that nine to eleven dollar channel. Quite frankly, I was uh, surprised to see where we went today. I was 
really hoping this week would be a week of consolidation in that $12 to $14 uh, green area in that green channel just to find consolidation. We certainly outperformed that today, and we are now trying to find support in the $14 to $16 level. But after hours, obviously, it's trending upwards uh, towards $17, and who knows where it's going to close, right? But I'll be very, very happy to close in that red area. So I kind of put a speculation together over the weekend about what this week could look like or the next actually 30 days. We are certainly continuing our upper trend. This is just for illustrative purposes only. I speculated we could hit the $16 level at some point. Uh, we have done so. And if we do uh, stay above that, I have no doubt we are going to launch for the moon. So let's again, bigger picture, daily candles, certainly on the uptrend. RSI is a little bit overbought, but nothing too terribly concerning right now. And we are certainly continuing our MACD upward trend. So a little closer look, alligator's mouth is absolutely wide open and he is very hungry. RSI again is just a bit in the overbought area, but not too terribly concerning right now. Uh, and MACD is certainly bullish. So I showed this yesterday. This has been updated. On the left is the mid-March run up to 1454. You can kind of see all the indicators and trend lines. We are certainly in a better position today. The MACD is certainly more bullish. RSI uh, is in a better position, I believe. I'm a, just want to make sure we don't get too overbought uh, unless we, of course, squeeze. And the alligator's mouth is uh, much wider open than it was back in mid-March. Furthermore, uh, we are starting our run-up at a much higher price point than we did back in mid-March. So I showed this yesterday. I'll show it again one more time for those that are just joining. Last week, we had all the momentum in the world. Uh, unbeknownst to us, Wanda was selling off behind our backs. And you can see what happened on Tuesday and Wednesday. And you can obviously see what happened today and hopefully tomorrow without that negative selling pressure influence. So feel free to pause and look this over. So this is updated again. This continues to be more bullish. This is the probability um, chart from Fidelity off of my brokerage account. 72.51% uh, uh, to be above the area that we are and the darker blue area shows us between I guess the 16 level and let's just call it 25. Uh, that is exceptionally bullish. That has turned around substantially over the last week. So feel free to send this guy a note. <laughs> AMC price target raised, sale rating affirmed at City. Uh, he raised his price target from a uh, <laughs> $2 to $3.70. Feel free to call him. Unbelievable. So, uh, nice positive news after percolating for days. GameStop and AMC finally break out on big day for meme stocks. Uh, I do not particularly like being called a meme stock. I believe AMC is just a solid stock. It's a solid company and a solid recovery play. American Airlines, Delta, Carnival Cruise is not a meme stock, but it falls into the same exact category. So as I've said multiple times, GME needed to wake up. This was through yesterday. It began to wake up. As you can see, alligator started opening his mouth again. Trend line starting to broaden out. Uh, RSI starting to move into a bullish direction. And MACD is certainly uh, starting a bullish upward trend. Like it or not, we are connected. Now you can clearly see the alligator's mouth is opening wider. RSI has certainly increased today uh, in a clearly bullish direction, and the MACD is certainly in a more bullish posture. So we need GME. We need all the other uh, stocks that are associated with AMC to outperform, to get going, because undoubtedly we are all connected through ETFs and other means and methods. Uh, through the shorting and whatever else is going on behind the scenes. When one goes, they all go. So let's look at uh, Tesla. So after analyzing oh, for multiple days what uh, our opponent has been up to, it is not out of the realm of possibility 
we could be in somewhat of a shorter term, much shorter term Tesla situation, but Tesla was uh, very, very heavily shorted. But as you can see over a little over a year, close to a year and a half, Tesla went from the 40s up to $900 a share. I know it's not the sensationalistic uh, launch to 100,000 or whatever but it continually grew and as you can see it had those major run-ups and spikes keep in mind in late january i believe uh, most everyone involved in amc certainly gme uh, called the opponents uh, off guard i don't think they uh, knew exactly what was going to happen they are more prepared this time i believe they are riding this stock up to only short it on its way back down which is why you see the uh, the short interest not changing again a closer look at tesla you can see the very bullish moves on its way uh, upward to 900 uh, wouldn't be the worst case scenario albeit it took longer uh, but it was certainly uh, a very bullish uh, stock and it certainly put a ton of pain on the shorts so let me give you a reminder about a few stocks that launched uh, during the late January squeeze. Uh, when GME launched, AMC launched, so did Rocket, so did Tanger Factory Outlets, so did Koss, so did Cinemark, and of course GME. So we are not alone in this fight. It is exceptionally important that these stocks uh, continue to have good days. It only puts collective pressure further on our short opponents. So again, holiday weekend coming up. Go grab a movie, Cruella, Quiet Place 2, all coming out amongst others. It's a great way to support the company. Certainly they need us uh, not just as shareholders, but also as consumers. So this was yesterday. Uh, this was the three-month view. You can see where I have the yellow arrow. Uh, the short interest was trending upwards just a bit. They were resetting their position. Today, you see where now it has flattened out, and this is a uh, lag of one day. So this is through yesterday, but you can clearly see the indecisive nature of where they are right now. I anticipate these trend lines uh, should go down as they continue to exit their positions or try to, especially if we're in the uh stay in the 16 17 possibly higher level i believe they will have no choice this is the bigger picture view over the last six months or so you can clearly see as the short interest trend lines uh, quickly go down the price quickly spikes up they exit as the price rises and then they reset their positions i believe that this is occurring right now i'm hoping that these trend lines will continue with their downward descent because that only makes it easier for the price to run up so let's look at what they were up to today so they started the day they borrowed they borrowed right out of the gate they had three million in their pocket and they tried to use them and after the initial run up they kind of knocked it back down we consolidated through the middle of the day and then they tried it again uh, towards the latter end of the day and they were not obviously successful they had 5 million shares on hand as opposed to returning them. They borrowed more and they have 5 million now, which leads me to believe they're trying to ride this up and they're going to try to short it back down. But I believe the FOMO buying after hours, certainly pre-market, may prevent them from doing so. So let's look at the short interest today. Uh, Ortex updated the uh, short interest and it has gone up substantially by about 6 million shares. Estimated uh, percent of free float has is about flat, 14.55. Percent free float on loan is 24.16, about flat. Shares on loan, as you can see, about flat day over day, 129 million. So they are not covering. They are not exiting. They are just riding this up. So the cover has not even started yet. Days to cover is about flat at 1.39. I believe that's closer to three days. Cost to borrow, 9.76 is about flat. Any utilization continues to be at 99, might as well call it 100. Uh, institutional uh, owners are 414. We own 63.9% of the float. 206 million was our volume today, so up substantially from yesterday and from Friday uh, about four times. 
65,000 short shares available according to Vento, and the fee was 6.83. And currently, based on the most recent data I have, there are 47 short owners that are 13F filers. So that is important. So we have 47 individual opponents that we're fighting. No doubt, maybe a couple of them got out of their positions today, but uh, no doubt that we still have the big fish and the big, uh, the big boys to, to battle through the next few days with this. So one other thing you can see uh, reported today through May 14th, through May 14th, uh, they, uh, the short shares that they actually had was 94 million, 17% uh, or so, 18% of the free float and days to cover at that time was 1.57. So let's look at the options. You can always tell an awful lot by the options. 2.71, absolutely huge, bullish, but very reasonable still. Uh, but the absolute enormity of the uh, big money deals that were put on the table today. June 18th, you got a $10 put at 2,500 uh, contracts. Amazing. Uh, you had some deep out of money calls, 2,500. But more importantly, this week, $14, uh, $14 strike expiring Friday, 1,700 on the call side. Uh, again, a lot of hedging, a lot of big money, but you look uh, just big, big, big dollars that are going out on the options chain these days. So here's the battlefield. It has adjusted substantially simply because of volume and contracts coming in over the last 24 hours. The range anywhere between 12 and 21, I have widened this out substantially just based on the open interest. Cautionary areas between, you know, let's call it 12.50 and now $20. Huge upward move you've got right now uh, about let's call it a little over 9,000 uh, open interest contracts on the call side at $20. I believe that will increase, but at $15 strike, you've got 19,000 just alone in open interest. 14, you've got 17,000 open interest. 13, five, I mean, it, the numbers are just huge. So if all of these expire into money, regardless if we, if we squeeze this week or not, next week, if we even close above 15 or 16 uh, the enormity of uh, calls expiring in the money is just going to be out of control so uh, even if we don't squeeze this week i certainly believe we will squeeze next week so this is the battlefield somewhere between 13 and 16 i believe uh, i believe that they are going to go on a heavy de a defensive posture uh, sometime soon they're going to let this run up and they're going to try to short it back down they clearly have shares to borrow around five million they've been recycling uh they're going to take some sort of drastic measures if in fact we do not squeeze over the next few days so as always i have skin in the game win together lose together diamond hands still in uh great day great week but it is not enough we are all playing for the squeeze so let's close with a quote from et who doesn't like ET? Certainly appropriate. ET phone home, right? Don't forget to call home when we go to the moon. There'll be people here that are worried about you. <laughs> so as always, I hope you found this video informative and entertaining. And if you did, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It's a newer channel. But thank you again for watching. And as always, I hope your life is full of green candles. And I'm looking very forward to tomorrow. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.